I mean, if they're African Americans, they're uncivilized people. So you're, you're, you're saying your brother is uncivilized? They deserve to be in jail. Well, I know I'm a Caucasian because when I wake up in the morning, I just have such a great life. Oh. And that my hair is so perfect, my skin isn't ugly, and I'm not fat also, which is also a really African American thing. Determined. I know I'm biologically white. I feel and it through my veins and through my blood. I don't just think I'm white. I know oh. that I'm white. And There's no doubt my Come back, bro. Come back. Come back. Come back. I feel... I, come back. I feel embarrassed. What's up, y'all? What's up, Jay? Wait, whoa, 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 whoa. I ain't done YouTube in a minute. I gotta talk right. What's going on? Woo! What's up, y'all? I'm doing another reaction video today. I need to take my jacket off for this one. I ain't gonna lie to you, because this one, my girl sent me this video, right? So I ain't know what to expect. Let me just put this on this door now right here. If it uh stay, yeah, there we go. I'm not gonna say too much about it because I don't know. If I if I keep talking about it, I might get um I might get banned from YouTube from some of the things I'm gonna say. But uh if some of y'all know me, y'all heard me talk about some of this stuff before. Oh god, let's watch this, bro. Today on an all new Dr. Phil. My daughter thinks that she is a white person. I know that I'm white. Mom claims her daughter's a racist. I'm not fat, which is an African American thing. Against her own. Wait, what? What did she say? Her daughter's a racist. I'm not fat, which is an African American thing. Against her own. I'm not fat. <laughs> Is this or is this not melanin to y'all? What is this? She says this is white? What? Bro, what is wrong with this girl? Was she talking about she better than everybody because she white? Where people get this stuff from, man? What is the title of this video? My African-American daughter believes she is a Caucasian. <sighs> Bro. Should I even be watching this, bro? I'm finna get banned on YouTube for this. God made one perfect person, it's me. Does it occur to you that you might be hurting people's feelings? African Americans don't have feelings, but they're not people. Let's do it. Have a good show, everybody. Here we go. This is a safe place to talk about hard things. Stand by. Her daughter to hate her own race and wants to know why Treasure the KKK. has about wanting to be white since she was five years old. Take a look. People try to tell me I'm an African American, but that's not true. African Americans are loud, rude, obnoxious, and just all together fat and ugly. If you ask me, my 16-year-old daughter has a very out-of-control identity crisis. She truly believes she's white. When Treasure was five years old, I've noticed Treasure was having issues with her race. She wouldn't play with the black children. Treasure would mangle or destroy her black dolls. She would cut their heads off, pull off their arms. She would pretend that they were the white doll slaves. My mom bought me beautiful white dolls instead of buying me the ugly, big lip black doll. I felt mortified. <laughs> The ugly, big lip, black dolls. Am I the only one hearing this? Is she colorblind? She black. Am I the only one hearing this? It's on YouTube, but I feel like I'm the only one listening to this right now. Wow. I was a single mom trying to support a family. We couldn't afford to stay in our beautiful home we moved from a mostly white affluent neighborhood to the city which was mostly african-american from the suburbs to the hood i was not anything like other black people they were all hood rats and they were all ghetto they all act like monkeys predominantly african-american she started to say very racist things in public, like i hate black people's hair they're dirty she would call them the n-word it made me feel good to put down an african-american person because it helps them stay in their place all the african -American bro kids what <laughs> what did he say and losers they're all gorillas oh my god against her own race 
What I find the most disturbing is my daughter is consumed with the Ku Klux Klan. It just shakes me to my core. Treasurer, have you ever reached out to the KKK? I have their number on speed dial. We call KKK. They keep me like current oh on my like, events. I've had a KKK number since I was like in middle school. <laughs> I got that number on speed. She said she had a number since middle school. I heard. So I'm guessing we both monkeys and uh, we gorillas. No, we are, ain't. Are my lips that big? I mean, they are, but they're like luscious and black is beautiful. I don't know. She just, I don't know what's, where she got that from. Who she? She's black. <laughs> exactly. She's black. She's calling herself a gorilla, a monkey. They're just so loud and get out. Jesus. Okay. Greetings from the loyal white knights of the Ku Klux Klan. Another eight Jim out this time in Washington, D.C. 20 year old silverback gorilla tried to pass a park bus and struck it with her car. I identify with the Ku Klux Klan because the way they believe is just so smart. White is right. White power. I believe it. If, if you've ever oh, gone to their website, that's me. Oh, yeah, you've done it. Yeah, I figured as much. Ooh. Why you, bro? Come back. <laughs> I got secondhand embarrassment watching this video on YouTube right now. White is right. She says she she believe what the Ku Klux Klan be saying because white is right. She said her role models are Kim Kardashian and Donald Trump. Bro, that says a whole lot, bro. People <laughs> that, that vote for Donald Trump, bro, that says a whole lot anyway in itself. But what them cats doing, bro? Hold on a second. Don't say nothing else. Say all that. Say all that and stop messing around. It's you, Connor. How about you just stay with me? How about that? Ooh, that's just awful. Yeah, of course. Oh, that's, that's, just, right. that's just awful. My daughter does spend a lot of time on social media. I don't even look at her Facebook page. It's too painful. I don't care what other people think. She got that on Facebook? Why lives matter? As a parent, I kept expecting her to just outgrow it and thinking she would change. I, I pretty much was like an ostrich, put my head in the sand, and it's getting worse. Okay, you're shocked by this, right? <laughs> Mortified. And I, I want to tell you, I'm interested in doing this story because I think it's a teachable moment and not for sensationalistic shock value because of some of the outrageous things that she says. So I don't think she's doing them to get attention. I think she's doing them because this is how she actually feels and believes. Yes. Would you agree? Yes, I do. She from, says she's white. Right. From a very early age. Do you think she's delusional? Without doubt. I mean, so is she delusional in other areas or just this area? Just this area. Okay. Now, when she showed up the other day and she met one of our... Get out. She done sneezed on the back of my neck. <laughs> so Get out. Yeah. And is there anything that your mom has said or told me about that's inaccurate, incomplete, or that you want to add something to? Well, I mean, actually, yeah. You guys called me delusional earlier, and I feel like... The only people no, I did not who, call you delusional. I asked your mother if she thought you were delusional. Yes, well, you asked her that question. I would like to clarify the fact that I am nowhere near delusional. I'm actually very capable and a very intelligent person, so. Uh, being delusional and being intelligent are not mutually exclusive. Well, I feel like if you're being delusional, then you've got to be some type of retarded. And I'm not that. Well, I have two things to say about that. Number one. Don't use that word. Absolutely, just simply not the fact. And number two, uh, using that word uh, is very derogatory. So I'd appreciate it if you wouldn't use that word. Yeah, well, okay, well, I'll understand only because I'm a very respectful person. And if you wish that I don't use that word, then I most definitely won't use it. Okay, appreciate that. Okay, no problem. Why when is she talking about like this? That you believe yourself. <laughs> just talk normal, to be man. Caucasian, going too much. Tell me why you believe that to be true. 
Well, I know I'm a Caucasian because when I wake up in the morning, I just have such a great life. And that my hair is so perfect, my skin isn't ugly, and I'm not fat also, which is also a really African-American thing. So, like, I'm just nowhere near like them. And plus, they're so thug and criminal that I can't relate. Okay. Um, <laughs> yeah, okay. Well, I mean, that's just so riddled with ignorance, I, I don't even know how to respond. <laughs> Okay. And, um, and, and, uh, she <laughs> I know I'm Caucasian because I wake up in the morning, I just have a great life. And I'm not fat and ugly, and that's just an African American thing. No, it's not. That's everybody. Anybody can be fat. What she's talking about. She's like a pile she of sticks. She said her skin isn't ugly. I don't know what she's talking about. She, she's black. <laughs> Look at you. I don't know what else to say about Was this. she born with a mirror? Look at you black. This is bad, bro. I don't know what you she cannot... in life by now, but she's probably bleached her skin. It's probably what she's done. She probably... Bro, I'm... I'm, I'm... I'm not saying it to be insulting. Ignorance doesn't mean lack of intelligence. It means lack of information. Uh -huh. I think you're confusing the concept of race and ethnicity. Because race is really biologically determined. I know I'm biologically white. I feel and it through my veins and through my blood. I don't just think I'm white. I know that I'm white. And There's no doubt in my mind. Come back, bro. Come back. Come back. Come back. I feel... I, come back. I feel embarrassed. I can't do this alone. Come back. Where are you going? Come back. I can't do this alone. Watching this girl is, is very embarrassing. This is what it's come to? I blame the... You know what? Do you I don't want to say that. what I see? What? What? Something's wrong with her. <laughs> She's, I see a big old delusional person. I feel it through my blood. I'm white. Oh my God. <laughs> no, you're not. <laughs> through your blood is blood like everybody else has. You can't feel and your nothing. skin is black, bro. I don't care if you had like three blood clots. You can't feel that through your blood. I don't know what she's talking about right now. I'm talking about race. She's talking about I know I'm white because I feel it all throughout my veins. Let's just see what else she has. D. Russell, I got ice in my veins. You that your father was not your father and that you are actually African American? You might be lying. I don't trust anything that anyone else says. I know that I'm white. Ethnicity, on the other hand, uh, has to do with whether or not you identify with a particular group in terms of their culture and practices, beliefs, religions, things that go along with that particular group. And that has nothing to do with race. Sometimes they can overlap, but not always. Well, I feel like you're wrong. You're completely wrong. I know who I am, and I know my race, and I'm a proud, proud white person. Mm -hmm. And there's nothing. I, I feel it through my brain. It's like it's literally in my blood. There's no way. I don't believe that I'm white. It's not my ethnicity. Treasure, do you it's accept my race. the fact that I'm your mother, I'm your birth mother? Who knows? You might be lying to me, too. You never know. Here are three pictures of Hollywood A-list actresses. Uh, two of the three. Two of the three are. She's really ugly. Um, Holly Berry looks like a d and I love Jennifer Aniston. Uh-huh. So. I love all three of those actresses. <clears throat> <coughs> Halle Berry is a bad. She's baddie. Let me tell you. You can see it. You can say it. It's okay. You can get a pass. Jennifer Aniston. She's a great actor. I forgot the other lady already, but <laughs> she's great too. <laughs> I forgot her name, but 
Why would she say that? What did she even say? They bleeped it out. She looks like a what? She said the N-word? I'm leaving. I can't do this anymore. I can't be around such ignorance. Come here. I need to make a point with you. Yeah, I'm making a point with you. Do you all see this cat? She's black. Just like her. She got a face. little white. She got a little white, but she's black. Say it. You're proud to be black. Say it. Yeah. She, she looks like she's trying to smack me up. <clears throat> Yeah, please. Get you ready for Ooh. this next, Ooh. um... Ugh. Ooh. Okay, ah! Black people are really ugly. Oh, she, I feel oh, like yeah, everybody she... can have different perceptions. Yeah. Well, Lapita was named the most beautiful woman in the world in 2014. Yeah. She was named the most beautiful woman in the world and I think, 2004. So there are an awful lot of people that disagree with you. Well, of course. I mean, that's because they're trying to put them as a token. They want them to be, you know, the proud supporters of black people. Okay. Uh, Treasure's brother Kendall is here and says it crushes him that his own sister is a racist and says hateful things against African Americans. We're going to meet him next, and I've got some very. Uh... Yeah, let me let me see this dude. Where are you at? You can't just watch and not say anything. Just talk about that. Right here, right here. Oh, yeah, right here. Let's just get Let me see what this dude got about. See what this dude look at it, it's a brother. A brother. You need a line up though, but okay. so, uh, here here's a question. You you say that you, you think all African Americans are um disgusting and thuggish and ugly and all these negative things do you feel that way about your brother well actually i put my family on a higher level than i put african americans because they're so low that i would never put my family there like i would never want them to actually be on the same level as african americans but your mother's african american well i mean supposedly but you know i'm not gonna put her on the African-American level. I don't know, because then but, I will treat her like Are you African-American? Yes, I am proud. Are you African-American? I am 100% African-American. Um, so, when, when you lump them all together, they're telling you straight up, they're African-Americans, so. I mean, if they're African-Americans, they're uncivilized people. So you're, you're, you're saying your brother is uncivilized they deserve to be in jail i mean if they want to be african-american that's what, they what? Go to, you know, that's what bro do. They go to jail. what is actually going on here is this like a prank is this like not she true? said that's what african-americans do they go to jail is this like is is this am i being punked here is this for real though this gotta be like a joke let me see is this a real thing i'm cringing really badly this happened a year ago bro She's still the same. She's still the same. This, this, last year don't change nothing. She's still the same. She still thinks she's white. Something's wrong with her. Oh my God, bro. What is going on? I ain't never seen nobody act nothing like this in my entire life. There's no way you can be black and then one day say, hey, you know what? I'm white. I mean, Michael Jackson. Look at the color of my... I'm just white. I mean... Michael Jackson. My, no, Michael Jackson's been black since he was born. His skin, man. Things that's coming out of your mouth right now. Of course. Do you do you actually like? Do you say you have perfect ears? Do you do they work? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, for real. For real though, facts, brother. It's Talk to her. Talk to your sister. You identify ethnicity-wise um, with a. Caucasian group, that's your choice. Um, what's offensive to me is why you would be such a racist about it. Because let me tell you, if you want to identify with the Caucasian group of which I'm a member, 
Uh, you are not welcome. saying ugly, hateful, disgusting things about decent, caring, loving human beings. And I just find that so I, I find that and, and, and you are so ill informed. You say like you know the prisons have are you full of statistics. You, have, you looked, have you looked at the statistics? Yes, I okay, have. Well, as you a matter should of know that African Americans are the most incarcerated people out here. Oh really? So yes. Okay, well, let's actually talk about that, because according to the Federal Bureau of, of Prisons, the prison population is 37.9% black and 58.2% white. Well, you're not looking at that. Yeah. Population. That's August 2018. Well, then you're not looking at factual information. I am looking at factual information, and the fact that you declare it not, the fact that you declare it not factual is just simply wrong. You don't know what you're talking about. I know exactly what I'm talking about. I know that black people are criminals. And you talk about blacks being uh, thuggy and criminal. Have you ever read anything about the Aryan Brotherhood? I mean, well, I mean... showed up at a KKK rally. I mean, I would tell them I'm one of them. They would be like, okay, hand me a robe. She has talked about having her skin bleached. Yeah. Told like, you she would bleach her skin. Like, Bro. I, like, if I had the choice, I most definitely would make a white transition. Because being black is just so gross and ugly. I don't want to be that. I thought you were Caucasian. I, oh, no, I mean, my skin is a darker tone. I don't like that. It's not cute. I don't think she really identifies as Caucasian. I think she identifies as racist. <laughs> yeah, she, he's smart. And yeah, we're going to end it off that because I ain't trying to edit no more. Everything she said is the complete opposite. Black is beautiful. Mm -hmm. Not all black people are criminals. Okay. Fifty. What did he say? 58% of Caucasian. prisons are filled with Caucasian people. Mm-hmm. Talk we're thuggish, him. we're ugly, we're big lip. I mean, we do have big lips, but they're beautiful. Oh yeah, they show sure is. Every you see the I way our skin it. glistens in the sun? What is she talking about? She needs to stop. And the only reason her hair is straight is because she got it perm. She needs to stop <laughs> lying. Because it ain't naturally straight. That's bull crap. <laughs> she needs to stop. And if she showed up to a KKK rally, she would get hung or <laughs> shot or beaten or whatever. Man, her skin will get stripped. Like, she gonna be skinned she would, she would be white. She would be white after that because they would skin her skin off to the white meat. Yeah. She would be dead somewhere if she showed up to a KKK meeting. Freak She'd be dead. Tell me she one of them. No, she no, ain't. She not, they, don't, they don't care <laughs> what you think mentally. They care about what you look like. That's, that's the point. If you're black, you're black. They don't like that. So whether you think the same as them or not, it doesn't matter. Because you're black. They don't like you because you're black. Well, there you heard it. <laughs> She's black.